At the University of Wyoming, you have a lot of freedom. I have the freedom to find information on any topic. I have the freedom to learn and explore. I have the freedom to discover my passions. I have the freedom to ask questions. I have the freedom to change my mind. Do I have the freedom to cut class and not do my homework? Well, yes, you have that freedom too, but that would definitely have consequences that you would not like. I have the freedom to aim higher. I have the freedom to belong. The freedom to become greater. Wyoming is called the Equality State because we have a proud tradition of equal opportunity. UW has been admitting students of all races and gender since its founding in 1886. That's right, UW's been around since before Thomas Edison invented the motion picture camera and before the Wright brothers flew the first airplane. And all this time, UW has adhered to a set of principles to protect the freedoms of those who study and work here. So what are these freedoms? You'll enjoy intellectual freedom to explore any text and to think for yourself. We don't ban any books. We don't put any fences around your mind. You're free to explore any side of a question or cause. Many students have causes that are important to them, and you'll encounter a lot of people with clashing causes. UW is a public institution, which means your First Amendment right protects you from government censorship. Students therefore have the right to free expression under the First Amendment, to share their opinions, and to argue for causes as ordinary citizens, even if their views offend others. What about visitors to our campus? The same is true for visitors to our public campus in any public spaces. You will encounter people who disagree with you and advocate for causes that are contradictory to your own on issues that might be super personal to you. So what's not protected by the First Amendment? Crimes like fraud or threats of violence are not constitutionally protected speech. The university is a space for learning and sharing ideas and will not penalize a student or instructor simply because you find their view offensive. In fact, the university takes a principled stance of institutional neutrality on the social and political issues of the day. For these reasons, you'll rarely, if ever, see the leaders of the university take a position on controversial issues. So what you're saying is that they don't care about important social issues? It's not because they don't care. It's because they want you and individual faculty to feel free to examine and discuss the issues, not to tell you how to think about them. Do students and professors have the right to push their causes in class? Not really. In university classes, you'll learn with experts in their disciplines who are on a quest for knowledge, not on a mission to push a cause. This academic pursuit requires freedom from the political battles beyond our university. This freedom for scholars to teach their subject and disseminate the results of their research is called academic freedom. A college class might examine a controversial or political issue. No subject is off limits. But here, you can expect to be engaging in academic inquiry and analysis, not activism. It takes courage and confidence to embrace this open atmosphere. Welcome to the University of Wyoming. What will you do with your freedom? Connect with others with a sense of civic grace and friendship. Build bridges, not burn them down. We can question rather than censor. We can engage in dialogue, not diatribe. We can apply curiosity and evidence to complex issues. I don't expect the university to take up my causes, but I do expect them to let me have my own. I can respect the freedoms of others. Learn and let learn.